Welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs for General Disturbance. This is a T92 HMC, the top tier American SPG, tier 10. It's located on the eastbourne or the northeastbourne of Karelia, and it's under the command of Zamri Pororo. Okay, game started. Well, they didn't build many of these beasts. Yes, they in fact, they only built five actually in the end. They were going to build more because they were going to use them for the invasion of Japan. You can see 24 centimeters is the caliber. 24 centimeters. Just think of that. It's the biggest caliber gun in the game. Okay. It does have considerable force. You can see 1300 alpha and used to be able to one shot a tier 10 heavy with an AP round. Yes, it was one of the arties that had AP back then. And yes, you could literally take a, an enemy tank out with the right shot in the right place. And I saw the Salty Jedi do just that on Cliff on one occasion. And that was quite amazing to see. Okay. Moving over to a firing position where you can get a shot down the south passage. Okay, he's aiming, dialing in on... An IS-7. Now the reload time is quite quite long, 39 seconds. Well, that's comparable with some of the other RTs in the game, and I think he aimed that one just slightly too short. He's right up against the edge of the map. That's why he's moving with some difficulty because he's actually you know pushing against the edge. Now, really, the best thing to do is aim directly at the target, but he was anticipating that the enemy tank was actually going to move forward, and it didn't. It stopped to take his shot, but he's almost ready. Almost ready to go again. Only 16 rounds. That's all you get. Only 16, but they're huge shells, so that's understandable. While he's fired in a round that was splashed, the enemy behind there, it's an E100. T57 heavy. The splash radius or burst radius is 13 meters. That's quite a long distance. You remember that's um, that's the radius. So from the impact point, 13 meters out one side, 13 meters out the other side. But you can work it out with pi r squared. It's a large area. Well, he's pulling back and getting uh, further away because those enemy are getting closer. And of course, he doesn't want to get wiped out. But he just knocked over a tree. And he's just knocked over a one, another one. Now, that could give the enemy a clue as to where he was. But it doesn't matter anymore because the enemy arty has actually been wiped out. And the reason for that is our EBR went in there and took him out the game. And the enemy arty was a GWE-100 with a 21 centimeter gun. Okay, so it doesn't matter if Samri knocks these trees over because it won't make a difference. Now, he is going to make a difference to that griller if he drives in front of his barrel. Yes, he's not going to be happy about that because he'll have to drive away. But Zamri is pulling back gradually, bit by bit. Now, he can't get a hit on them yet because, unfortunately, they are hiding behind that rock. But here comes a Death Star. He's lined up, rounds out, T-57 heavy, direct hit, and he's taken out immediately afterwards. 454 hit points there. He is picking up stun assist as well. I thought IS-7 is rocking backwards and forwards. I think he's trying to throw off any... RT that's uh, fired at him. There is only one RT left in the game anyway. <laughs> okay, loaded. Rounds out straight away and splash for 268. Wasn't directly on target, but that's RNG for you. We were firing at a Russian tank, so. Obviously, the Russian number generator was going to say, Nope, you can't hit this one. It's Russian. <laughs> I know. You know, Klaus swears by it. He says it's 
true? I don't know. I don't think it is, actually. It just really depends on how accurately you fire. Most of the time it does work. Rounds out. Yep. Direct hit right into his side. Seven, 400 hit points. I was about to say 700 hit points. So I was hoping it would be 700. No, 400. But no stun assist, unfortunately. Now, over to the west side of the map, we do have some action going on. We've got half our force fending off the other thrust, the other flank. None of the enemy have decided to come through the centre, which is surprising if you think about it, because you'd, you'd think that somebody would go through the marsh, try to get into the cap area. Going for Nia 7 again. Rounds out. Only nine rounds left, six rounds of standard, three rounds of premium. Now the premium rounds have also got a rather large splash area, 14.5 meters radius. Again, that's a big increase. One and a half meters makes all the difference. I always like to carry a few rounds of premium just in case there's a bunch of enemy tanks all lining up together and it's so nice then to give them all a warm bathe in the splash of my arty okay 277 pulls back almost as if he knows that the shell's about to come in Over to the south, that IS-7 is on his last legs, really. But there are some enemy tanks there. A splash would probably be enough to take him out. Rounds out. Yep, it does. So that's his first kill. Probably won't be his last, though. Now we are about halfway through the battle so far. And only 10 tanks have been killed out of the 30 that started the game. It's looking very much like a stalemate at the moment because the enemy doesn't really want to make a thrust in the north. Except, of course, that 277's come around the corner again. And received quite a lot of hits. Now, would he stay there? Well, Zamri's elected to aim forward again. And now he's gone to the horseshoe. I wonder why. Yeah, EBR's gone into the middle. We still don't know the location of that Centurion Action 10. He did go down into uh, Grid Square A, uh, E2. All of the enemy have been sighted. Ah, now there's a tank that we didn't see. Anudes 1516 managed to make it into the marsh area. It's crept up by the rocks. And, well, he's quite close. But he was spotted by the EBR or the Progetto. And they're firing into him. Well, there's the Centurion Action 10. Almost dialed in. He's on fire. Rounds out. <laughs> well, he died. But we didn't get anything off him, I'm afraid. Our shell arrived just after he'd been wiped out. We probably would have got a smash kill, actually, if the other teammates hadn't fired. I should say something about the T92 HMC. Well, actually, it's built on the chassis of the uh, T26 E3. Was it the E7? 
It's the Eagle 7, yes. Which is, of course, in the game. Now, because they put it into the game as a premium medium. Well, it's a new firing position. Okay, this angle is much better fitting that Object 268. Styling in. Almost ready. He's ready. Rounds out. This could be it. Oh! He, he moved forward just enough to avoid the worst of that shot. But he did get stunned. So we picked up some stun assist. He's still getting hit. Well, only three rounds of HE, uh, standard HE, and three rounds of premium. And that EBR, well, I think he's in a bit of danger, actually, because although he got behind the uh, Object 268, oh, he's now aiming for the, ob uh, the Object 277. Rounds out. Splash! Good hit. 563. And he was taken out immediately afterwards, so we picked up some more stun assist. 2.1k of damage so far. So things are starting to move now because there's only two enemies remaining. You just saw one of them there, the uh, Wizzy 111 Model 5A and a Gorilla 15. The Gorilla was near the enemy cap. There he is. We're not loaded yet, but he is very, very lightly armoured, so... One hit from our gun is probably going to ruin his day. Rounds out straight away. And that's a kill! That was a penetrating shot from the two, two 14 millimeter shell. It went straight through him, wiped him out straight away. I did say that it's very light armor on that griller. It is basically a panther hull. And the shell, this shell would just annihilate it. Well, that Wizzy 111 Model 5A is now about to receive... Oh, he's been killed! And that wins the game! I thought for a second we were going to get another chance for another kill, but only the two kills for Zamri. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's an ace tank for Zamri Pororo in the T92 HMC. He managed to get a Bruiser medal for getting at least 5 critical hits. He got 13 and the Gores medal for doing more damage than 10 times the hit points of his own vehicle. And let's have a look at team score. He did get the highest damage in the game. 4,275 hit points of damage in overall. 3869 for the Bat Chat 12, 25 ton. And 3568 for the Progetto 65. When it came to kills, though, it was the Panhard EBR 105. I thought he bit off more than he could chew trying to get around that Object 268. Yes, unfortunately, he did get wiped out. He did get four kills, though, before he did. And the Progetto managed to get three kills. And then we got Zamri sharing the next spot with two kills piece with the Bat Chat uh, 25 ton and the FV 4005 Stage 2 and the enemy's Death Star. When it came to base XP, it was still that Panhard ABR. He managed to get 1,036, 1,027 for the Progetto 65, and then Zamri with 963 base experience points. He fired 12 rounds, got three direct hits, one penetration. That must have been the shot on the gorilla. It would have gone straight through his hull like uh, knife through butter. 13 splash, damage of 4,275 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. He damaged seven of the enemy, killed two, and did 2,016 hit points of stun assist off 11 stuns. On a free player account, he earned 47,742 credits from the game. And after resupply of ammunition, yes, this, these shells are very expensive and consumables, he still ended up with a profit of 12,742 credits. He got 963 base XP times two for the first victory, 
took away 1,926 base experience points. So a very particularly good game in terms of the ace tanker and the gauze medal and some great shots, especially that gorilla. He literally did. Look at that, 1,055 hit points. That was the penetrating shot, no doubt about it whatsoever. Went right through him. And the rest of it, well, he hit a lot of the enemy to remind them that uh, they can't come towards the cap because Samri's going to stop them. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification button so you get alerted when the new video goes up. And thank you for watching.